this Minecraft chest is in the middle of nowhere. And for the next 50 real hours, I'm going to be trapped alone on this one chest. So you might be asking right now, how am I going to survive with only one chest? Every single day I survive, this chest will refill with completely random items. From a stack of sponges to loot for days, this chest will decide every item I acquire. My goals for this challenge is to expand and create a really cool base, create a villager hall and get OP loot, master the art of automatic farms, defeat the ender dragon, and then acquire as many achievements as I possibly can. If you guys do enjoy this video, head down below and tap that super button and the like and the bell that'd be really much appreciated now let's get into the movie so with nothing else left to do i opened up our first chest to see what was inside and in our first chest we got wood our first end portal frame a bucket of water some iron some emeralds and most importantly a netherite chest piece to begin this entire challenge that's very generous chest thank you very much with our wood then i then made a crafting table made an axe and now it was time to start expanding our base realizing that i had mangrove wood in the chest i decided to use it while expanding to mix and match the color I got extremely lucky with having dirt in our first chest because this means we have one half of what we need to grow trees And once I can grow trees, I don't actually need to wait for blocks from the chest itself with the starting design of the base I've decided to go off all four sides of the chest in each direction to make somewhere new like a tree farm or even an area for my chests So after making the area for my chests, I put all of the first chest into these double chests and grabbed the iron to make some iron tools With a brand new iron axe and an iron pickaxe It was time to expand the base again and realizing that I was actually running out of different blocks, I decided to mix and match with even more colors like lime green. I'm kind of started to think this was a bad idea. Next on my large list of things to do, I wanted to make a mob grinder, so I started very early on this first day. And as night fell, I realized I have wool in my chest, which means I could make a bed and sleep to the brand new chest. The chest has been refilled. This is our first day with a brand new chest. What are we gonna get? Okay, <laughs> breathe. That woo. Okay, two enchanted golden apples. That will be very handy. We got more wood. Uh, a lot more wood. Uh, some fish. Sapling! How did I overlook this? Right, guys, it's day two, and I can already, boop, start a tree farm. You grow now, sapling, and I'll grow your brothers and sisters. Okay, the color scheming is very ugly. So after reflecting on how ugly my design was, it was actually time to build this mob farm. That was quick. <laughs> I did need a bucket of water, but I kind of got a tropical fish in with the water. So I'm going to need to make a little pen for our little pet fishy. I'm just going to drop you here for now. Yeah, I don't know what to do. No. Office tree. Yes. Hello, tree. Please don't any saplings fall in the void. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker just in case these pesky saplings fall in the void. We don't want any of that happening. Please drop a sapling. Please, please. I'll see to you in the morning tree. But first, let's go to sleep so we can see what's in the new chest. Chests have been refilled, boys. Okay, what have we got? Jungle wood. Some glass, some raw chicken. Ooh, 22 furnaces. Oh, boy. What am I going to do with 22 furnaces? Watch till the end of the video to find out. Yeah. Is that a good hook? That's a good hook, right? People love furnaces. And after picking up a brand new shield, it was time to dump this single chest into my double chest. Enderman. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to have to dump everything in the chest. We do have 52 torches to lighten up the area. So the last tree dropped multiple saplings. So after placing our one sapling back, we needed more space to place multiple saplings. It is a different type of wood, but that's okay. We're on limited resources. I mean, just look at the mob farm. That pretty much sums this up. Oh, yeah, the mob farm. By this point, I'd only built half of it. No mobs were actually spawning at this point. So this now meant it was time for me to go to the top of the mob farm and finish building it. To finish the mob farm, I'm actually going to need two buckets of water to create an infinite water source. Oh, hello, sir. We can cook this 37 raw chicken. We got an infinite water source. Yes. If I've done the math right, I can hopefully fill this with water like this. This is probably the worst looking mob grinder of all time. But you know, it's our mob grinder. And that's all that matters. Right, guys? Now, it was very pointless of me of walking up and down the stairs of the mob grinder every single time I needed to get a new item. So, I found a better way to get down. I could die. I could lose it all. Whee! Ooh. Oh, the chests have been refilled. What have we got today? Oh, ooh, a beacon. Oh, that is huge. Now we can finish off the mob grinder. Let's do it. Yeah. So I didn't mention that I actually ran out of building blocks to actually build this mob farm. So with the next chest, I now had enough blocks to finish this mob grinder. So now all I had to do is put this thing together. <laughs> Okay, while we wait for more items to spawn, I kind of want to change the spawn area because I don't like the colors. I think the first thing I'll do is change these mahogany planks. And I've got myself some quartz slabs, which is pretty nice. 
There we go. Should I change the pink? I don't know. Or maybe another layer of quartz slab. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're going to surround the green with another layer of quartz slabs. Okay, that, that doesn't look too bad. Not too shabby. Hello, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did I look an enderman in the eyes? Okay, I just went up to fix the mob spawner and I realized, look who is inside here. You guys got any trades for me? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass. Okay, the chests have been refilled. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got our first music disc, our first bow, lava. I don't mind if I do. Okay, that was a really, really good chest. I'm probably gonna use this shulker box to keep blocks in. Oh, uh, what is going on right now? What is, what is happening? That is a lot of mobs, and there's also a witch in there. Right, let's see if we can keep the witch. Ah! No! Ah! We have the witch, though. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> I'm on half a heart. What am I going to do? Right, okay. Now I need to trap this witch. Guys, I thought the witch was a zombie villager. I don't actually need a witch. Oh, and then I got to fix my mob farm. No, okay. Thank goodness it's back to normal. Okay, what have we got? A lot more blocks. I still need to finish the trap doors of the mob farm. So let's quickly do that now. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to finish this with all of these mobs up here. Oh, my goodness. Hello, spiders. I probably should have brought my shield right now. Boop, 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 boop. Right, we'll fill in the trap doors here. Let's actually start growing more saplings. I think. Okay, yeah, we only have these two right now. And you know, I do have lots of bones from the farm over there if I need to grow any of these quicker. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that if I need to. So, with all of these new jungle saplings, I needed to make sure I have one giant tree farm that looked nice and tidy so that I could use to produce as much wood as I need. Okay, we've got a makeshift farm right now at the moment, but let's quickly go to sleep so that I can get a brand new chest. Ooh, we got our second end portal frame. A netherite pickaxe. Okay, we'll take that. We got our first enchanting table. Ooh, this is a very nice chest. We even got eight diamonds. I'm gonna drop this all in the chest for now. Since we have diamonds and we got smithing tables in the last chest. Boom! Netherite axe. So for the end of the hour, I wanted to make sure that I had my tree farm all sorted and done. Hopefully the next day now we get some bookshelves so I can enchant all of my tools. Let's get this new chest. Okay, a diamond sword. We'll upgrade that to netherite. Another end portal frame. We're already three out of 12. The game knew exactly what I wanted. Let's create a netherite sword. We've already got three of the netherite tools. This is some good progress. Boring stuff out the way, but I've moved these chests over to this nice little area over here. So all the items are stored there. And we have our two little shulker boxes there as well. Now, how does one actually make a cobblestone generator again? Is it like this? Then the lava's like that. Here we go. We got a cobblestone. Okay, well, I'll surround all of this in cobblestone to make it look nice. And there we go. We've got ourselves a lot more jungle wood. And I've also built around here. Just to be refilled. Ding dong. Ooh. 18 debris. Let's grab all of this. Well, actually, we may as well smelt this ancient debris while well, we have the chance. And I do want to clean up the look of the base. And what I mean by that is, like, fix these stairs. Kind of looks a little bit ugly. The mob grinder has its own unique charm, and we love that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll change all of this, because it actually doesn't look too bad. But what I will change is the stairs going up. Do I have any glass? All right, I'm going to change all of this terracotta into the glass I have here. That's not too shabby. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do now, with the five diamonds, I've crafted myself a diamond helmet, and we are actually just gonna turn that into a netherite helmet, and there we go! We got half a netherite armor suit, which is pretty cool, but we gotta get the rest of the suit. I'm gonna need to finish the rest of these trapdoors. Hopefully, this is enough trapdoors. Right, there we go. All of the trapdoors are down. Yes! It's a new day. Let's go to sleep. Let's go, Betty Buys. Woo! There's so many mobs, and they won't shut up. Reinforced deep slate. That is never gonna break. Minecart with hopper. I'm gonna need to sort out the chest. We have 34 wheat seeds if we wanna make a farm. Our next mission is to make space for a villager out post if I can find any zombie villagers from this. It doesn't look like we've had any so far. So now I was off on my quest to make one giant piece of land so that I could make a villager trading outpost for the future and trade lots of emeralds. So I started off by using jungle planks, of course, because I had way too much jungle wood. But this worked out perfectly because I actually had enough to make enough space for all of my villagers. I actually don't know how I'm gonna find a zombie villager. Oh no! I just realized mobs are spawning on our platform. I need to light that up. Okay, let's check what we got. Ooh, some swords. That's not very good. Torches all around. Torches all around. Okay, now I'm gonna add a second wall and... Whoa! Wow. 
I don't know who did all of this. And this took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but it's fine. Chest's been refilled, but there's also loads of mobs. The one thing I am dying for right now is dirt. We need dirt. Right, these mobs are so loud. Any zombie? <gasps> there is a zombie villager. Oh, we got a zombie villager. Okay. Uh, I need to pick these out. Okay, the mobs are down for a second. This is going to be a mission to get our zombie villager out. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to single-handedly punch all of them. Okay, first off, let's block it off so no more mobs can come. Okay, I got to be very careful about this. Okay, I'm so close. Yes, we have the zombie villager. Are you enjoying the roller coaster, friend? No, 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 they go back. Ah. What? How did that happen? Okay, sir, so I'm gonna keep you in the minecart in here. Just uh, enjoy your time. And one thing I just realized is food. Like, genuinely, I don't have any food left. There's another There's another zombie villager. This is twice in a row now. Oh, I need to not kill them. Right, we've actually caught two. Now I gotta do this for two of these guys. This is this is going to be so hard. In the minecart. Wow, they're too smart. They don't wanna go in the minecart. Now, you're gonna enjoy the roller coaster. Go. Oh my goodness, that took way too long. So long, loser. Now I'm gonna need to queue them. And also, let's quickly get rid of this mess be here. Chest refilled! What have we got? More beds. Shulker box. More emeralds. Okay. Guys, you got a new bed. Yay! Boop, boop. Right, now at the moment, I don't actually think I have any sand and I don't have any glass. Which means I don't have any bottles. 49 levels. Right, I really do need this enchanting table now. It's a rainy day. What have we got? 25 diamonds! The gods have looked down upon me today. We can make a full netherite set now. Cover me in netherite, baby! We've got full netherite, just like that. Almost level 51. That is a lot of levels. Now we just need our little enchanting table. So let's quickly go to sleep. Chest has been refilled. Bing, bang, bing, bong, bing. Lime green glass! Yeah! Yes, my favorite glass. I love this glass. Okay, with a little bit of spare time, I've kind of filled in the gaps here with jungle wood, and I've also filled in the gaps here with jungle wood. I'll probably expand this way as well, but in the meantime, I might just hop back in here. Let's farm some mobs for a bit. Oh, that is so satisfying. It never gets old. Please don't blow up creepers. It's never right. You absolute. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? One, two, three, four. Okay, now we have a nice little underground area where we're going to collect all of the mob drops if I need to. I think that's smarter. Right, let's let all the mobs be free. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Fudge! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That was terrifying. The one time I don't have my bow, I've lost. I let. I've lost my bow. Right, this works. And now I can get even closer and just do this. Okay, I've also added two extra hoppers here to go into these chests. So we got a lot of extra mob automation farming. And because I got slabs here now, the mobs actually can't see me, so I can just kill all of them like this. Got a bit of an automated mob farm there. Awesome stuff. And there we go. Our island is coming along pretty snazzily. All right, guys, it's coming to a brand new day. So let's quickly go to sleep. And hopefully we get some good items in the chest. Oh, we got skulk. A lot of gold. A lava bucket. Okay, these things are quite nice. A lot of my items are going to be scrambled. I'm going to have to fix all of this up and maybe make some sorting. I want to collect a lot of jungle wood and expand the base. And to do this, I think I want to make a second platform where I can break the jungle trees easier. My plan was to build a giant oak platform above the tree so none of them could grow too high, which meant I could mine them way quicker because they were a lot smaller. And even if any of the jungle trees did grow bigger, I could then climb up the ladder and mine them from the top down. And all this did was add way more efficiency to me mining all of the jungle wood. All of these trees now grow smaller most of the time, and even when they do grow a lot bigger, like that one, I'm just gonna go to the top and mine it all down. You are getting mined from the top down. There we go, that was way more efficient. Look at that, wow. All right, guys, today I'm either hoping for a lot of dirt or hopefully some food. A lot of cooked food. Oh, raw food. I can I can cook the raw food. Okay. I guess a lime bed is cool. Beetroot seeds. At least we got another shulker box. Not exactly what we were looking for, but I'll swap out and take this lime bed. Okay, I've just found 55 pumpkin pie. We're okay. I just completely overlooked that. With all this jungle wood and all of these trees, let's start expanding the base a lot more. Now, because the chest wasn't giving me anything, I had a lot of spare time on my hands, which meant I was going to use this time wisely and expand the size of the base so when I needed to to make farms or anything like that, I had a lot more space to use. And in the end, it didn't look too bad. Okay, there's mobs spawning up on my little tree device. No, please, chest, please give me something good. Let's go to sleep and hope for the best. Please, I need dirt. Dirt! No! Where's the dirt? We got more chests. Great. We got banners, we got flowers, but we got no dirt. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay, one thing I can do today is we can heal these zombie villagers, which means I'm gonna need some fermented spider eye. 
egg. What is it actually called? Fermented spider eye. We're gonna need some brown mushrooms. I don't know where I'm gonna get brown mushrooms from. Okay, so I can't actually create portions of weaknesses right now just because I don't have brown mushrooms. Let's go to bed unless hopefully we get something useful tomorrow, please. Hello, hello. And now the end portal frame. Now that is big. <gasps> Bookshelves. Is 24 enough? It is enough. That is enough. We've done it. We've done it. We can enchant our gear. We also have five end portal frames. That is huge. Boop. Enchanting. Hello, book. Lap is in here. Helmet in. Protection and unbreaking. Let's go. Right, now let's do the rest. Protection, unbreaking, and thorns. Protection, unbreaking three each. Very nice. Protection three, unbreaking three as well. Let's check all this on. And we are going to be OP. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to do the pickaxe as well, even though I don't need it. Let's just make a new axe, because mine's breaking. I'm sorry, old netherite axe. You can go in there. But I've got a new netherite axe in town. Yeah, now we're talking with silk touch as well. Okay, now we're talking smite, sweeping edge, unbreaking three, knockback two, and fire aspect two. We're kind of OP now. Brrrr, me, me. Ooh, I can grab the leaf blocks. Boop, there we go. All the trees are gone. I don't know how just how that happened. I don't know. How bad it can I be? I could connect a hopper to this chest, and hopefully, every time it refills with items, I could then hopper it down into more, more, more chests. And we'll have automatic item collecting farm, which could be very cool. I'm gonna make a few hoppers. So, in theory, what should happen is, all the items in this chest will refill and spawn. They'll go into this hopper, into this chest, then into this hopper, and then into this chest, obviously, and we'll have all of the items to grab like that. Hey, starting to work. Very cool indeed. I've just got to make sure I put light down here. Probably get a few more torches. And there we go. Okay, does this work? It's working. I just need to give it a little bit of, of a boost. The chests have just refilled. We've got more ancient debris, another beacon, another netherite sword, a lot, a lot more rubbish. One thing I I did forget to do earlier is actually enchant my bow. So I'm going to make a chest here with all the lapis. Whee! Power and, and breaking. You know what? I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Look at all of these items fill in. Yes, let's go. Okay, I've been in here for a little bit, you know, just, just waiting out in the box. Uh, we've got a lot of mobs over there, but the main thing I want to see is our chests. Honey and beetroot seeds. Nothing much in that chest, but, you know, that's fine. At least we know it works now. But... Oh my goodness. That, that's a lot of items. And that's a lot of XP as well. The sun is setting. Please give me a brand new chest with some good items. Please. What have we got? More ancient debris. No blocks. TNT. More diamonds. That's good. Again. A lot of random stuff. Okay. We still have no obsidian. I don't know how I'm going to get to the nether. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in love with the shape of you. What are we gonna do today? Maybe start a small potato farm, actually. Again, no dirt. How am I gonna do all this? I have an idea. It might not be a good idea, but I definitely have some sort of an idea. Right, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna create a hoe. I'm just gonna borrow the dirt, hoping this doesn't fall. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I'm also gonna make a brand new uh, water source. This dirt is taking the water from this. When I need to then, we're gonna get a lot of dirt, we're gonna get a bigger farm, and then we're gonna have farms and farms. But at the moment, I'm not actually getting dirt. Okay, we've been in this box for quite a while now. How many items have we got? Another end portal frame. Awesome. We'll take that. 26 hoppers. Okay, well, we're sorted for hoppers now. Golden apples. Yes, please. And also, what was very cool is we just got 21 fermented spider right, which now means we can heal our villagers. Yes! So let's go. We need blaze powder and I don't know where I put the blaze powder. Here they are. 14 blaze powder. We'll pop that in there. Right, okay. Into the brewing stand. Okay. Okay, three splash potions of weaknesses. I've gathered you here today to heal you into normal villagers. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have to just take this one to the face though, guys. Okay, three, two, one. Now you eat this. Forgot how loud that was. And now they're healing. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. Guys, I think we did it. I think Podzle works as grass. Yes, it does. Mine all of this up so we get all this normal dirt. Okay, guys, I've run into a bit of a problem. I ran out of dirt and also we don't have a lot of carrots. I could probably grab potatoes from all the way over here if I just quickly killed the mobs. It's not many to start with, but it's a start. And we need more dirt. Come on, Jess, do your thing. Through looking through the chests, I found 18 mycelium. I think it does turn back into dirt. Yes. Okay, now we have to place it all in and fill in the gaps. This looks so awkward because I hardly have any dirt. That is A-OK. -okay. We just got to try and hope for more dirt. Yay! You're alive, guys. You're alive and well. This is awesome news. So I started farming away all of these carrots, and for just one patch of carrots, I ended up with four stacks of carrots. Alright, guys. There we go. Four stacks and eight carrots. You're gonna take half a stack of carrots, and you're 
you're gonna take carrots, and you're gonna take even more carrots. Make baby, make baby. Johnny, make the baby. Do I stand here and watch? Oh, uh, we'll see now. I think they're doing it. They made the baby. The baby is made. All right, guys, you just keep doing that. You just keep making the baby. I'm gonna keep doing the carrots. You keep making the babies. In my last video, I was trying to get babies all video, and I forgot to put beds, and that's why they couldn't make it. So this time, I made sure there are extra beds, and they already have three babies. Since you guys are making babies big time, let's give you more carrots. There's a cat. There's a cat. Kitty cat. Oh, I want a pet cat. Grab fish. Where's the fish? All right, just check through my chest that I don't have any fish. I've cooked it all. So uh, you're gonna have to wait over, little buddy. You just don't fall. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't fall off the edge, pal. The chests have been refilled. I was just looking for raw fish. We could get ourselves a cat. Hello, buddy. Can you be my friend? <gasps> Yay! We got a cat! I'm gonna name you Ginger. Ginger, me and you, we're gonna be best buddies. What we're gonna do is bring a lot more beds and make a lot more babies, and then we're gonna set them all up around this place and have our own emerald empire. Villagers, I've brought you more beds. Bedtime. We are gonna have a giant emerald empire. Excuse me, little buddy. Yeah, I can't believe in the last video I didn't have any beds. Pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna give them all to the villagers so they can make nice babies. Eat food. Okay, they're making the baby. Hello, kitty. Hello, you. Yay, we got another kitty! I'm gonna name you Timmy. Okay, I think we've got enough carrots. Five stacks should do. And also, guys, two things that's just happened. I've expanded the outside of the farm so no carrots can fall off into the void. And also, a wandering trader has spawned up. Hello, sir. You're using that invisible potion, but you kind of have the leads, and it kind of gives you away, sir. We got another cat. Hello, you. Yeah, we got another cat. Ah, uh, let's set up this beacon. And I know why I have a lot of gold. 19 blocks there. Stack and a half of gold here. And I don't actually know where to put the beacon, but let's figure that out now, I guess. Maybe I should make a lot more space with the jungle wood. Right, we're making more space. Let's do this. Yay, space montage. Woo. Okay, so I've expanded the base over there. For a lot more space. That's where I think I'll put the beacon. And I also maybe got carried away with the leaves. And we also have the gold smelting here for our gold blocks. Right, 24 gold blocks. How many blocks do we need for a tier 2 beacon? Right, how are our, how are our villagers doing? What the hell? Oh my god! What the hell? We've got a lot of villages going on now. Today, we are building a villager trading hall. Um, I'm gonna get as much jungle wood as I possibly can. Alright, we have 30 blocks of gold quickly. Before I make the trading hall, I'm gonna make our beacon. Right, now I actually need 34 gold blocks to make a level 2 beacon. So in the meantime, let's just make a level 1 beacon, I guess. There we go. Right, what do we want? Uh, speed. Speed! Let's get down to business with this trading hall. And I actually don't know where I'm gonna build it. Either out the back there or around the side of here, maybe. Okay, good thing we have 25 pistons and slime balls. So by the power of a YouTube tutorial, I was now on my journey to making an epic villager hall. I don't even know what that means. But I'm gonna start off with a really simple design for our villager hall. And then hopefully make a bridge from this part of the base to this part of the base. And all... All of our villagers are gonna be in this one big villager hall right here. Let's quickly go to bed. Let's see what items we just got. Right, please be good. It's got to the point where I see netherite and I don't want netherite. I want dirt. I literally want the most simple block in Minecraft. I want dirt. I'm begging, begging you. Let's finish this trader hall. Can we please? Hello, I am Golem. Villagers, I bring you, some of you, a new home. Go, Frank. Be free. Come on, Frank. You're gonna love your new home. Don't look at me like that, Frank. You, you, don't, 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 look like, don't look at me like that. No, 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 no. No. Oh my gosh, you almost how that's why I needed to place the temporary block so you wouldn't. Oh, oh. No! Frank, no! I've just killed our first villager. Frank is uh enjoying his time on vacation, guys. Don't worry about Frank. Between me and you, Jonathan, Frank is dead. Frank is never going to return, okay? Well, enjoy your new home, my friend. You're gonna love it. We did it! We captured a him. I mean, we captured a I mean, we gave this nice villager a brand new home with so many fun-filled adventures ahead of you, buddy. You know, there's definitely no zombie gonna attack you or kill you or anything like that. Now, I'm gonna kidnap all your friends. N I mean, now I'm gonna give all of your friends a brand new house. The chest has been refilled. What have we got? Bells? You know, I could wake up the villagers. We like scaffolding for the building. That'll all go down into the chest. Okay, now we gotta make friends with all of our villagers. Yay! I'm actually just gonna get all of the villager job blocks and then line them all up so we have every type of job to trade with because we're gonna get a lot of random items and I need random trades to sell for a lot of emeralds. So, that's the plan. Let's, let's have a look. I have literally stayed in that box throughout the night trying to get the villagers. But anyway, that means it's a new chest, I think. So, what are we gonna get? Redstone? Iron! 
Oh, that is nice. 39 blocks of iron. You know what? We could use this for the beacon. And we can do a level 2 beacon with 39 blocks, I'm pretty sure. Right, there we go. More speed. Yeah. Meow. We're gonna get your friends in this uh, uh nice holiday home. This is a holiday home. I love how the iron golem isn't doing anything about it. Right, you can be the lectern guy. Yeah, it works. Who's the next guy? Who's Who else is coming on vacation? Sir, no, no, you're not supposed to be over there, sir. Why, why, why are you the way that you are? Right, they're back in. You are the chosen one. You are the stone cut guy. Let's go, Larry. Common Larry W. That's what the kids say now. Yay! Let's go! We're doing it! We're doing it! Okay, so it was time to expand our villager trading hall. Because with this many villagers, I needed somewhere to keep them all to trade with every single one of them. Even though I might not need to use them, I do want every single unique villager job. So any random items I got from the chest, I could trade with one of the villagers. And then at one point, I did run out of jungle wood, so I said, oh well, you know what? Why not? Let's just use all of this awkward that I have. And as the new day came, I made sure to check out that brand new chest. And this is what we got. We got coarse cool dirt. Another cool thing about that chest is we just got another end portal frame. Right, we do have coarse cool dirt now. I can fill in the rest of these. Uh, if I get normal dirt and then gravel, we can infinitely create coarse cool dirt and then cycle continues. Dirt is so valuable right now. Yo, I just checked the chest and we got a totem of undying. This is a first one. Right, let's light up this new area. Yeah, we got a brand new bridge, by the way, guys, if you haven't noticed. I'm gonna expand that, make it look a lot, lot nicer. Right, we gotta put torches up here as well so they don't spawn. I don't think any are spawning, but I'm going overkill with the torches. Right, let's go to sleep. See our new chest? What have we got? Cobblestone and nothing. Who is our next customer? Come on through. Right, now get in this hole. Oh, no, 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 no. They're on. We did it. Woo! Buddy, old pal, you're going in here. Right, guys, I know you don't want them to leave, but they're going on an awesome vacation and it's gonna be so fun. Right, you can be a cartography man. Are you ready for the roller coaster of your life? There's so many iron golems up still. And another villager? And another villager? Sorry, Frank. You gotta go, Timothy. So our friend here, George, wants 32 rotten flesh. Well, George, it's your lucky day, my friend. Hey, let's just grab the rotten flesh from all of this for now, you know? Look at that. You know, emeralds for doing absolutely nothing. Let's get more villagers in. Let's do this. It was now my mission to kidnap all of- I mean, uh, give a free vacation to these villagers. I think it's time for a kid Kidnap villager montage, yeah! We just got 15 grass blocks and 26 rooted dirt, which means we can spawn animals now and mobs. The villager trading hall is still on its way. Feathers. Oh, obsidian! Oh! We can halfly go to the nether now. I still need flint. I still need to find flint. You guys are the last two villagers left, and you're gonna make me more babies when I need them. Right, please give us some more dirt. Yes! We actually got it. And more emeralds. Ooh, and eggs. That's a decent chest. We got anvils. Anything useful? Okay. How did you get out? What? Snipe. My bow is very, 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 very awesomely strong. Right, I think I've got this space here, but I'm gonna make a land here. Off this is where I'll make this space of land for our animals to spawn. Hopefully they spawn. I think we need a big, uh, 16 by 16 something for animals to spawn, so, uh, I'll figure something out. Does this call for another replay? I think it does. Let's do this. Mining more trees. I'm mining trees. This montage is so dumb. Basically all I did was mine trees. That's all you need to know. I really hope you guys did enjoy that awesome, uh, tree montage. That was truly awesome. I think I'm gonna grow all of the grass here, but I only need to use one grass block so I can save the rest to grow even more grass blocks if that makes sense I'll build a 15 by 15 and then hopefully get it to fill. Let's build this outline shall we? So now it's time to build some space for some passive mobs to spawn like cows, pigs, chickens and sheep. Now a lot of the item drops from these animals could give us way more emeralds because now this meant we could trade all of these animal drops with the villagers we've just acquired. Only problem is I don't actually have enough dirt to fill out this space yet. It turns out that the space I had just built was actually 15 by 16. Now, I don't know if this matters, but I really want this space to be symmetrical, so I'm gonna make it 16 by 16. But right now, I'm happy with how all of this has turned out and looks. Okay, now I think the next plan of action is to make more babies and automate this carrot farm with villagers. We're gonna need to make some babies, and we have this extra villager here, so maybe you can be the farmer. Make a baby. Is that enough carrots? Get in a boat. Because I need you to be a farmer, Mr. Sir. And I think I need two villagers to do this. I'm gonna quickly go all over this and, and, 
and farm some carrots. What do we got? What do we got? Do it, please do it. Ooh, an elytra. Whoa, whoa. Okay, now I need mending. Definitely. What level do we get mending at with villagers? Let me check. No. No. How did... No, my villager. Could probably heal them, actually. I'm gonna take you in the basement. Never mind. They died. Great. Fantastic. That's what we love. Oh, it's because I had thorns. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that, that didn't work out, did it, guys? No. No, no, no. Okay, well, we're just gonna break this. Place this. Um, place water bucket. Mending. Oh! Fuck it all along. Yes, I, I, this is that, that was like third attempt of the day. I'd like to buy a mending. Another mending. Another mending. Another mending. Right, do I have an anvil? Got the elytra. Mending. Mending elytra, baby. Woo! Mending. 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 Right, now, let's see if this works. Right, we got all of this damaged. All of these damaged like that. Now, if I go down here... And kill and get all of this XP. Look at that. All of it. Every single piece is back full HP. That is the power of mending. Right. But now we got to get our zombie. And pointing guy has made a return. How am I going to get a zombie? There's no way I can get a zombie in here. Well, actually, maybe I can, actually. I'm going to get a zombie. Then I'm going to break the hole. Okay, this might take a while. Just a normal zombie. Far out. This keeps happening. I'm, I'm recognizing a pattern right now. I could just make a dark area. Right, I have an idea. I'm just going to make a path all the way out here, right? I'm going to wait for a zombie to come. No, I'm going to kidnap it. Chickens, they're spawning. Oh, oh, we've done it. We've got passive. That was a complete jump. Yeah, hello, guys. Right, um, right. we need these zombies to spawn out here. I caught a zombie. This is your new home. Right now, if I... Ah, thorns. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Right, now I need to grab another zombie without dying. We got a zombie. We got no thorns. Pick that block up. Grab the armor. Do it. I actually don't know how zombies pick up blocks. Ah, and the cat's gone in. You're now pointing, guy. Good luck, friend. We've done it. I think we've done it. I kind of want to test this. So, like, if I grab you, the rotten flesh guy, and I lower you down, is the zombie going to come and kill this guy now? If I leave this villager like that, I'm sure the zombie will just find its way. But mobs are spawning now. Mobs are spawning. That's good. Oh, it did work as well. The villager has been zombified. So, right, you get weakness. And a golden apple. And hopefully you'll be healed now. Let's see what happens. Right, in the meantime, where do I make the pens? Right, what I'm gonna do is make a platform out here like this. And then we're gonna have a row for each pen across like that. This may take a while, but it'll look nice. And it'll look tidy and fresh and clean. Right, with all of that design, now it means I need to collect way more leaves. We need leave blocks, leave blocks. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the fences on the inner circle like this. To have this design. I wanna make it look pretty, so I'm gonna put jungle leaves on the outside like this. There we go. That looks quite cute. I like I like that. I like that a lot. I need more like grassy looking blocks for the pens, but we only have chickens at the moment, so it only makes sense just to make one pen. Come with me, buddies. We gotta go on an adventure. I'm taking you to an actual new home. A better home, actually. Other than the villagers. You guys are lucky. I actually take care of you guys. There we go. We got the little chickens. I got you cool new food. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, this is coming along pretty nicely. This is where our animals will be kept. Chests have been refilled, baby. Nothing of interest, really. We got pig set. Bop, 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 bop. Come on, new animal spawn, please. The cleric is also healed. Ooh, that's a better sale. Now, what we can actually do, right? But we can do this one more time to get even more emeralds. And we have so much rotten flesh. So, I'm gonna drop you for the zombie. And then when I heal you, sir, you'll give me even better deals and yes, money. I kind of don't need any of this anymore also. Because I don't need another zombie. It's time for you. It's it's time for you to go. Everyone's favorite part of this video, Long Bridge. Yay, and we got baby chicken. Woo! What I could actually do right now is farm chests, right? We just wait around. AF Okay, and farm chests, okay? Because we have this entire chest farming machine, I can now sit here and just farm all of these chests. But before I sit and farm some chests, what I want to do is heal our cleric and then farm some emeralds. Portion of weakness for you. And a golden apple. And there we go. You're shaking, but you'll be okay. Yay for any drag. Woo. I've been farming for a good hour or two now. Maybe three. Let's quickly go to sleep. And let's see how many items we've actually farmed. Chests have been refilled. Right. What have we got for this new day? Even though we've got loads more. Another end? Uh, not a lot of things there. But now for the big, big, big money. What have we got? Where do we start? Do we start up here? We got, we got netherite. That was good. Name tags. That's quite rare. Some more emeralds. Some more dirt. We'll take that. We're looking for gravel. If I can get gravel or flint, we can go to the nether. Ooh, another totem oven dying, baby. Let's go. Wee -woo. What I can't understand is why can't we get any gravel? I literally don't know. Oh, 10 rooted dirt. Another totem oven dying. Right, there's three. Seven eyes of ender. We are getting rich. 52 dirt. Yes. <gasps> gravel. Oh, 
Wait, no, no. Yes! I can't believe we got gravel. Let's go. If we get one more end portal frame and one more eye, we can go to the end. That is awesome. But we should probably go to the uh, nether first. The moose and the mars and the bars. They're all here. Let's grab all this dirt. Right, 62 dirt. Cows, moose, sheeps. We're filling in the hole. You guys are going to have a lot more space to, to run around and be free. What is happening with these iron golems? This is a nice way to farm some iron. The cleric has brought it down to 20 rotten flesh for one emerald. We can farm that as well. Right, I kind of want to test something quickly. So with this gravel now, right, if I do two dirt like this and two gravel like that, we get four dirt. So I've just turned two dirt into four dirt. You now see where I'm going with this. We are going to duplicate dirt and have infinite farms. Problem is, I need gravel. I need a lot more gravel than this. Gotta try and get that good old flint. We got flint. We got more flint. We got even more flint. I want to make sure I have enough flint just in case, you know, I run to gravel. Now... We can head to the nether for the first time in this series. And I actually don't know what the nether is going to look like. I think we have enough space over here. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. One, two. Boom. We've got ourselves a nether portal. With the amount of slow progress we got with all the items, I never thought I'd actually reach the uh, the nether. But, you know, here it is. I guess there's only one thing left to do now, and that is just go into the nether. Let's do it, guys. Let's go. This is huge. I mean, we won't have many purposes for the nether. What we can use from the nether is gravel. If I kill this guy, I'll have access to the end portal. Ow. Not you. You weren't part of the deal. Probably bring my elytra in here. Yes, we got a pearl. That has sealed our deal with the end portal. Now we all we need is one more end portal frame, and we can go to the end. The quest to find gravel. Where do I even begin? I honestly have no idea. Where does gravel spawn in the nether then? Sir, have you seen gravel? Right, let's grab all of this gravel. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna have to steal this gravel. Oh, yes. I don't like the fact that this is dropping flint, even though, you know, I might need flint, but I want gravel. Right, my pickaxe goes really quick, like, meow. Look at all this. Two stacks of gravel. Big boy. I'm a big boy. I'm a big gravel collector. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to build a bridge. Oh! Why did I do that? They want my gravel. You can't have my gravel, sir. No! Let's go! Alright, we're gonna go home, gamers. Spent a lot of time in there, but now we get to sleep. Right, let's do some business with this gravel, eh? 12 course dirt. Now, if I build all the way up like this, bing bong, and then we craft it like that. There we go, there's, more, there's 24 more dirt. So I'm gonna rinse and repeat this, and let's see the progress. Let's see the results. Well, the replay footage was corrupt, but basically, guys, we have two and a half stacks of dirt. Okay, guys, I just went through enchanting lots of wooden shovels to get the right enchantments, but I've enchanted my netherite shovel to efficiency, so I can mine all of this dirt way, way quicker, which is a very, very, very nice touch. So, thanks, enchanting table. The good thing is, we now do have access to as much dirt as we want, as long as we go out looking for gravel. I need to light up the area, but bam, look at that. That looks so much better. Wait, one, one gold to emerald. Hang on a second. I have an idea. Yeah, I kind of have a lot of gold. You, sir, are bringing me the best deals. I can't even trade with you that many times. Gosh, dang it. I'm gonna get a shulker box just for this one guy. Whenever you're ready, sir, just let me know. I'll trade more emeralds with you. Let's let drop you to the zombies. I need to do the water bucket trick again to get loot in three. We're gonna be here all day. Let's keep let's keep this going. Quick side note, I've been saying looting the entire time. I mean fortune. I hope you guys have picked up that I, I, I mean fortune because uh, fortune is when you mine ores, you get more ores. You get more, you, you get more of the loot. We did it, boys. Fortune three. I accidentally hit the villager, so he's bumped up the prices. So, sir, you're going down to the zombies. Leave them down to the zombies. Right, the chests are full. I don't know how this has happened. We're gonna have to go change this. Okay, so I'm gonna remove all of these items and check them in your chests. Okay, let's let's just see how this goes. Okay, right. All of these chests are now cleared for more items to fall in for the next days and those chests have been filled up. Let's go to sleep. Please give us the last end portal frame. No. We got loyalty three though. So a lot of progress has been made. I should definitely build a uh, sugarcane farm. So I'm actually going to do it here, I think. Right, I'm actually going to get jungle wood. We're going to quickly make a sugarcane farm here so we can get paper so we can get fireworks. And with fireworks, we can fly through the air of the nether and the end. It'll make the end a lot easier. Right, all our sugar cane is out. Let's hope we get enough paper here now. I'm gonna light up the area so mobs don't spawn. Somewhere on this island we have fireworks. I'll try and find them. Okay, no fireworks at the moment, but if I just wait here, we'll wait for the sugar cane to grow. We'll wait for a little bit of more animals there as well. And uh, yeah, let's farm a little bit. Let's farm a little bit more items, shall we? Before I farm some chests, I wanna heal our little our villagers. Right, why is the zombie not doing the job, eh? Is pointing guy down here? No, what happened to pointing guy? Did I hit pointing guy with a sword? No, I need to get another zombie. Great, that took so long. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Let's get, let's get 
another name tag, another zombie. Waving guy. Yeah, wait, pointy guy's brother. Okay, now we well, now we just gotta get a zombie. Great. Sir, I don't know where you came from, but welcome to the team. You got this, pal. Now meet your villager friend. There we go. We've trapped pointing guy's brother, waving guy, and now waving guy is probably gonna eat the villagers. Buddy, I wish you the best of luck. Right, the zombie can't get to the villagers. Oh my goodness. Why is this not working? Oh man. Do I have to get another zombie? For now, we are just gonna farm some chests. Back into my brand new farming pod. Okay, gamers, we're back from farming our chests. Been a good few hours. Let's start from the bottom. What have we got? We have loyalty three. Ooh. In here, more eyes of ender. 55 emeralds. Let's try and get fortune for those. Another end portal for him. We can go to the end. That is huge. 37 eyes of ender. Who, who needs that many eyes of ender? I don't know. Another totem. Okay, we're not dying. 25 more eyes of ender. I sure needed way more eyes of ender. Well, now that we have our end portal for him, we need a place for our actual portal. Right, how many fireworks can we make? Right, that's that's a lot of fireworks. I didn't expect this many fireworks. Right, this can be our firework farm then. I'm gonna drop the paper and gunpowder in there. Where is our fortune guy? Because if I get... Uh-oh. Please don't say my villager despawned. No! No! My fortune villager! Oh, that hurts. Ah, oh, I can't believe I've done that. Right, in the meantime, I'm not gonna focus on that now. You know, that's, that's, other, that's future me things to worry about. What I am gonna worry about is getting my brand new... Well, I say brand new. We got it back a while ago. I'm gonna get my elytra and I wanna test this bad boy out flying. Whee! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Meow, meow. Now we can fly under our island. Whoa, it looks so cool. That looks way better. The above. Woo. Right. I kind of want to beat the Ender Dragon as soon as I can, like speedrun style. Let's grab all the end portal frames that we have. And we have a stack of ice. Right, where am I actually going to build this end portal platform? Probably this way. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this dirt to expand our tree farm. And then we can expand the base and make room for our brand new end portal frame. That would be very cool. Plant some... Whoa, no, nope, we don't want to set the base on fire. Plant some more saplings down like that. And there we go. Now I... I can start expanding this jungle tree farm way more. So let's do this. So now it was time to expand the jungle tree farm. Now I didn't need to add anything extra fancy to the look of this or the style. All I wanted to do was expand it more horizontally across and out, which would allow me to get way more jungle wood. Our jungle tree farm is done. The only thing I need to do now is plant all of the saplings. Yeah, I won't lie. That doesn't look too bad from a distance. We've made progress. Yes, isn't that right, Iron Golem? So now it's time to decide where I want to put the end portal frame. Should I put it out there? Um, I'm gonna do it out here. I'm gonna use the leaves here to replicate where I'd put the end portal frame. Because if I play, if I misplace one, I can't break it. I don't know. Does that look symmetrical? I think it looks symmetrical. Okay, I think I've done it. I'm actually gonna place the end portal frames now. Let's do that. I can't mess this up. Mobs are already spawning. I need to get the torches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now we gotta put in the pills. I have actually done it again. I've built the end portal, and without thinking, I've taken myself to the end, so, um, good job me. You know, I didn't, I didn't prepare to do this at this moment. Wee! Fly by! Wee! -hoo. Fly by! Fly by! Oh, oh my god. Oh, I only have eight steak. I keep hitting myself real bad. Come on, please! I'm gonna do a fly by. Meow! Meow! I keep missing. I'm actually so bad at this. I'm some terrible. Okay. There we go. There's one. Pew. Okay, I can't get the ones in the cages. Yes! There we go. I'm gonna use that trick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh there we go. That was the trick. Is that everyone? I don't have any beds. You know, I was planning on using beds like a pro gamer. Come on, dragon. Bring it on. Right, the dragon's going in. Can I get in? Yes, I can. Some nice axe damage. This is what we love to see. Okay, I think I've hit the dragon down to its last HP. I don't know what just happened. Okay, no, I didn't. All right, good thing I could catch this on camera. Last video, I completely forgot to record. The end. Yeah, get sniped mini dragon. Woo, we did it. Right, is this dragon coming down? It's it's really silent for a dragon killing. I don't know why. How do I actually get the egg? I swear I need a piston, right? Let's grab the dragon egg. Yoink. Does me go to the end city make sense yet without food? Probably doesn't. I'm gonna play it safe and go back and get some food. We did it! We beat Minecraft! We gotta refill. We gotta refill. Another end portal frame that we don't even need anymore. And some food. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this end dragon safe in my inventory. Don't want anyone get into that. 44 cooked chicken. Do not mind if I do. Let's head to the end city. Let's see what we can... Whoa. Let's see what we can find. Kinda want to explore. Can I get on top of this? Oh. Right, let me write down the chords for this. Let's just fly into the horizon. I mean, we already have an elytra, so finding something shouldn't take that long. Let's bring some chorus fruit back. Why not? We can use this. We can add it to our end Sky Island bit. Right, the render distance has gone up, ladies and gentlemen. And we have found two. I mean, even though we have so many shelter boxes, I kind of do want to explore these anyway. Hello, shelter boxes are making me fly. I don't think they keep, keep any loot in you, right? Only one way to find out. Maybe? No. Okay. Here's another one. I want to find a bigger one. I need loot. Incoming. 
Loot. You know, I don't really need any of this, but you know, it's cool to have random loot just to show off once in a while. Right, let's try and get great view from up here. If we levitate up 50 blocks from attacks from a shulker. So, can I get shulkers to keep hitting me? Levitate me, shulkers. I want to go to the moon. Is this going to be 50 blocks? I don't think it's going to be 50 blocks. Hit me. Hit me. Keep going. We got to get these 50 blocks. We got to get this achievement. No! You guys had one job. Home. Oh my god. Do you know what the worst part is about this? The, the, the portal was right here. And there's a ship right there. How? I'm gonna grab it for my pain and suffering. Die. Uh, you stinker. We've got it. We've acquired the third elytra. I can probably heal them with a little bit of mending. Can I get in now? Oh, man. Let's go sleep. Chest refill. Anything noteworthy? Dirt. We love dirt. What if I make an end dome for this bit? There you go. I like that. We kind of need more end stones. So let's go in and mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Ah, I'm back in the portal. Okay, right. I've brought with me a few stacks of end stone. This should be enough to finish off our little uh, little dome be here. I don't actually know what I'm going to call this. Is this going to look like an end dome? What have I done? Not as bad as I thought. Well, okay. Now looking at it from a side, <laughs> this looks so goofy. Can I put chorus fruit on it? Dirty chorus fruit is what I could find. Um, now the chests are getting over full. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to sleep on it. We don't need those items. Do I have enough end stone to go around this? I might have to go back and get even more end stone. Kind of going to have to put torches on top to stop the mobs growing. Okay. One thing I've wanted to do for so long is just... Just plop some green glass per day. So we get a nice Renny Drag Lime Green Beacon. Very snazzy if you ask me. We've got a few things to do now. Let's have a look at our achievement list. Let's begin on the easy side, right? Sneak near a skulk sensor. The problem is I have with this uh, chest is that it doesn't spawn any spawn eggs, right? So anytime I try to get an, a, a mob, it doesn't, it doesn't actually give me spawn eggs, which is a bit of a problem. Since I have a lot of time, I'm going to clear all of these chests. Okay, these chests have been uh, cleared out. Okay, and we've also got some iron and also some wood from that. Plop that in there. We've got 12 iron as well. Okay, something that I've always wanted to do and I keep getting stopped in my tracks before I do anything else is actually automate this carrot farm with a villager. What I need to do is grab a block to go around the carrot farm with dark oak log. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. Not too shabby. That looks okay. Right, now we need to get walls. Quickly put a wall around this carrot farm like this. Okay, this is looking good. Put a composter there and then a wall on top like that. Boom. Right, now I need to steal two villagers for my automatic carrot farm. Come with me, sir. You're going this way. Right, they've become a farmer. I don't actually know if they, like, crop themselves, so I'm gonna quickly crop these. So you just be a good old farmer. Come with me. Oh, never mind. I'll take your friend. <laughs> okay. I think it's done. I think we've done it. I might be wrong, but this guy is there, and he should feed the carrots into this hopper, which is then gonna go down into this chest. We've set up an automatic carrot farm. This is epic. We've been working through the night, so let's go check out our brand new chest. Some skulk. Some netherrack. Our automatic carrot farm is working. This guy's been busy. They've been trading. And there we go. We got a stack and a half of carrots. Just from doing nothing. Automat that is so awesome. Hey, guys. You guys enjoying farming for me? Right. Can I guess sneak 100 if I sneak past you? Yeah. There's another achievement done in two seconds. As I went to check on my villagers, the iron golem had killed the zombie. <sighs> How have you killed my zombie, sir? I thought I was about to get good deals. And no, these iron golems keep absolutely destroying my zombies. I think I need to add a layer of protection here so the iron golem can't, like, hit them through it. Yeah, how did that happen? Ah! Right, we're not going to focus on this for now. I'm going to do it when it becomes night again. I need to make sure iron golems can't reach the zombies, I think. Because the iron golems are killing the zombies. And we don't want that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Since I have a lot of dirt patches here, I'm actually going to fill them up with oak because I like oak as well. Start planting some new saplings to grow some trees. May as well use some oak as well. Oak would never hurt nobody. That's what I say. There we go. I think that's every space filled up. These iron golems are managing to kill the zombies, and I don't know how. So I'm gonna add a layer of protection, like bed wars. That roof is off-bound for iron golems. No iron golems allowed in this section of the base. Right, just to add an extra layer of protection, I'm gonna go do another layer like this, so the iron golems can't get as close to hit the zombies, because I can't have the iron golems killing my zombies. So I'm gonna have to make it look ugly. Well, I don't actually have to make it look ugly, but it's ugling time. There we go. I've added an extra layer of protection for the zombie next time. When the zombie gets in, the iron golems can't hit them through the walls. I've also protected this side. So you stupid iron golems, you're killing my zombies. Cleric has turned into an expert, so we can sell glass bottles for emeralds. Scoot for emeralds. Boom, bam, bit. Okay, now we can sell the gold. 38 emeralds, not bad. Heal my pickaxe, heal my pickaxe. So what I've actually done with this pickaxe is grabbed Fortune 3 and put it on the pickaxe. So now the plan was to duplicate emeralds and we could spend these emeralds on whatever we wanted. 
it. Like mending for my pickaxe, because it turns out I don't have mending on my pickaxe. Place all of this emerald like this with our fortune three. There we go. Now we're getting multiple emeralds in one. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. And now we've just duplicated all of this emerald ore because we have so much fortune. Keep placing all of this. Any emerald ore I now have, I can now place it all and break it with my fortune pickaxe. So let's grab all of these emeralds and see how much we get at the end. Okay, there we go. Two stacks of emeralds just from that batch of emerald ore. So we'll put all of that in there. There we go. Guys spinning out of control. Right, let's try and find as much ore as we possibly can because I know I have a lot of ore. Okay, I've managed to find 27 more deep slit emerald just from the chest. So let's grab all of this and let's mine all of this again. Okay, with all the emeralds we just got, I also kind of want to sell this scute. One scute for an emerald. Here we go. One emerald for enchant. That's some good stuff. Right, this guy has some good deals. Very cool. What can we start selling now? I can start selling carrots, right? I have an idea. I need a zombie so I can drop this carrot guy in as well because we got automatic carrot farm over there and sell the carrots to that guy. Start getting loads of emeralds, but I need another zombie. You know what? We're going to skip the entire process and I'm just going to get another zombie. You guys don't have to watch me fail. This happens every time. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Right, I've accidentally caused a little bit of commotion. Look at all of this. What have I done? I stopped recording for five seconds. I just got to sleep. Come on, 50 blocks. Yeah, let's go. We did it. Sniper duel. That's another achievement collected. I slept over with the villagers tonight because there's too many mobs outside. Please, I hope they all burn. Is that everyone? <laughs> this war is over. I'm, I'm gonna leave getting a zombie for now. I'm gonna focus on getting some new advancements. At least Timmy's okay. Hello, Timmy. Villagers are okay. Is the carrot farm okay? The carrot farm. They, they were doing business the entire time I was fighting for my life over here. Right, in the meantime, I'm gonna go look in the nether because I'm gonna try and get as many nether achievements as I can probably get. Like, if I get gas tears, I can get end crystals and respawn the ender dragon, so. But before I head to the nether, I need way more fireworks, so let's grab all this sugar cane. And I should have unlimited gunpowder still. Right, I do want to quickly get mending with our good old buddy villager friend over here. Hello, sir. One mending, please. And I do want to put this guy on my pickaxe. I'm gonna resume this giant death trap. Right, these trap doors here could hopefully protect me now. Heal my pickaxe. Let's head to the nether and kill a ghast. I don't think I actually have ghast tears. I'm gonna double check, but I need ghast tears to get end crystals so we can respawn the ender dragon. Okay, if I can head to the nether and get wither skulls, I could probably fight the wither. I don't actually know if this give me any wither skulls. I don't think the chests give me any wither skulls. So that means I'll have to go get wither skulls myself because I do want to fight the wither. I have enough soul sand for it. And also, let's go chase some achievements in the nether. There we go. There's another achievement. Host tourist destination. Looking for a fortress. Yeah, yeah. Let's find a fortress, baby. Ah, I found a ghast. Please, I gotta shoot the fireball. Oh, the game's lagging. How did that not hit it? Yeah. Ghast here. Ghast here. Missed the ghast here. That's fine. We're alive and well. Uh, oh, fortress, baby. Oh, I found blazes. There is another achievement. Oh, and there's a blaze shooting mini. Okay, okay, run. Okay, there's wild wither skeletons down here. I'm kind of dying hard right now. There's a lot of withers, guys. Ow. Huh, huh. Right, I probably should have got looting because I need their heads. Come on, three skulls, please. Skull, skull, skull. Yo, I think this might take a while. Now, after running around the fortress, killing loads of wither skeletons, I've realized if I wanted to kill the wither, I would probably definitely need looting three. So, we needed to get a villager with looting three. So, now it's time to head home and do that. Be here all day if I don't have looting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fly home, get looting, try and find some wither skulls. In the meantime, flying through the nether, I need to find ghast for ghast tears. So let's see if we can find any ghast tears on our way home. And the chests have been refilled. Okay, it's time to get home. I'm gonna actually make an indicator which way the fortress is. That way is to the fortress. Okay, right. Let's get some loot in. I need to get these wither skulls. I, I never actually found a piglin to barter with. I don't know where they spawn. There's any in this area? Yes, there are. Yes, we got it. We did it. Right, safety landings. Let's go back. Right, now I need another librarian villager to see if I can get loot in. <laughs> I'm asking a lot from these librarians, but you know, they're gonna help me out. I'm also gonna put a chest here for nether drops, I guess. Everything I get from the nether, so that that's pretty cool. Let's put a walk fungus on a stick but there. Okay, librarian, I am going to need looting three. We're gonna do business with this gentleman right here. If you don't mind me, sir, I'm gonna ask for some looting three. I'll be back, guys. Looting three, baby. Just 30 emeralds and a book. You, sir, are a scam. Scammer, but I'm, you know, I, I've got to do it. 30 emeralds and a book, right? Right. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Can I put this on my sword? Yes, I can. This sword is, look at that. Oh, I actually don't have sharpness on it, though. That is some, it's not, it's not that good. Okay, coming to realize I actually need a lot more enchantments than I thought. Like, I need unbreaking three for my elytra, which means I'm going to have to add more lectins to these villagers. And also, I'd like silk touch thorns three as well. And also, we need to get sharpness five. So, I'm just realizing now that I'm just going to take a lot of these guys' Uh, jobs and just swap them over. Yep, you got a new job today. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, you're in the business. So any of those, I'm gonna write them down. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit you and mine until I get sharp 
Sharpness 5, Thorn 3, or Breaking 3, any of those. And then swap out any of the remaining villagers that I can swap out for those enchantments so that I can put all of them on my armor. And we're going to be extremely OP. So, let's get to it. I'll see you guys when I got those enchantments. I've been doing this for so long. It is literally a brand new day. And the chest of chest ring filled. And I'm on level 69, lol. Um, I've made a few progress. We got looting, mending, and silk touch. That's pretty much all we have. I'm still trying to get protection. No, not efficiency one. Come on, give us on camera. Do it on camera. Please, one more 360. Uh, yeah. I'm still going to be here a while. Okay, I'm actually going to add signs to tell which is which. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to add all of the signs to these guys to make sure I know what is what. There we go. We got I'm breaking three. Now, I, I want to put this on my elytra, sir. One I'm breaking three, please, sir. Good good doing business with you, pal. Buddy old pal. Let's get I'm breaking three on this bad boy. And let's quickly heal this up as well. Come on, pickaxe. Go, 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 go. Let's also get I'm breaking three for the pickaxe. That'll be a nice addition. So we're going to... Okay, it seems like the hoppers are full here. That's a bit of a problem. Let's fix this up. I need the hop up. Let's let's try to fix this, shall we? I'm gonna add an extra layer below the chests here so we can have an even more space for the mob drops. I might have to add even more chests because these chests are completely full now. Let's have a look. Yep, all of these are full. So it's time to grab more hoppers, I think. We're adding we're adding DLC to the mob chests. This is awesome. Hoppers and chests is what we need right now. Okay, let's be super careful about this. We're gonna do a chest. Yeah. Awesome. I almost fell off the edge then. That would have been bad. Good thing I have my elytron just in case I did die. <laughs> More space for mob, mob drops. Hopefully all of those go down into there and we can start collecting even more mob drops because I still need this XP. Okay, one thing I want to do before I go to bed is quickly grab a quick cheeky achievement. Incoming! Okay, so what I was actually going to do before I went to sleep is quickly get an achievement by playing a music disc inside of the meadows biome. Turns out we are not in a meadows biome. We are in a plains biome and I tried to fly out to see if I could get or find any other biomes or biome chests. And there is nothing out there. I am stuck in a plains biome. So unfortunately, we can't get this achievement. That is that this is sad times, but that is okay. That's just one achievement that we can't get. There's loads of others we can get. Like deflecting a projectile with a shield. Jets being refilled. Beacons. Diamonds. Netherite. Right, let's check out on the carrot farm. How many carrots we got? We're making some good progress. Good on you guys. Let's go. I have been using the carrots to feed the villagers. I should probably go feed even more. Let's go do that now. Guys, I've brought snacks. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, eat, eat. I got lots more where this came from. Let's hope they eat up and make babies. That I'm gonna take and kidnap and use for my trader farm. I mean, not kidnap. I mean, take on a lovely vacation. You guys, yeah, you guys know I wouldn't ever do that to villagers. No. I would never, I would never do such a thing. Okay, I think today what I want to do is actually expand this farm and change it to wheat. I'm not 100% sure if this actually does work with wheat. I might be wrong. Well, I, well, I could, I could test it. We'll have to plant some wheat seeds. Will he, will he farm wheat? Because then I can use the wheat to farm my animals over there. I'll leave some seeds in. See if this guy grows up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. To the beacon! How did I do that? Why? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. That was my, that was my, that was my totem. That was, that was, li that was literally, oh no, it wasn't. I have another totem. Okay, I have another totem. Whew. I'm an idiot. Don't try that at home, kids. That was really stupid of me. Okay, let's expand our farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done this a layer down. That's fine. It's easier for us to get villagers in. That's okay. I'm actually okay with this. Even though that's higher up, I'm okay. Because now it's easier for me to get villagers into this little pen. So making this brand new automatic farm, there shouldn't be too many problems other than the fact that I made it one block lower. This should be fine though since it would be easier for me to get the villagers in and out of there. I wanted to use this farm for wheat so I could actually farm way more animals. Now while building the outline, I did kind of come to realize how much of a problem the one level would actually be just because I'd have to make an entire new level below the farm just to collect the chest. So I've gone a few blocks down and placed some ladders, made a nice little area where I could collect all of the automated wheat from. Okay, I don't know if they made any sense, but basically we have all of this farm here, which is all set up nicely. All I need now is a minecart and a hopper right there. So we got to add that. Then we've got a chest hub hooked up. We've got a ladder down here. We'll collect all of the wheat. And if I need to add more hoppers, I can. So now all we need to do is go to sleep and get our villagers and, and, and bring them to safety. A nice, nice holiday resort. And these guys are farming away, making that, making, the, making the carrots. You guys, you guys do an awesome job. Heck yeah. Chest being refilled. Let's go. What have we got? What have we got? Target blocks. Uh, shooting a target block is actually a challenge. Can I speed run this? Right. I actually need to count how many blocks are. Right. Can I hit this? I guess I'll never know because they're despawning. Right. I'm getting too distracted with this. Just realizing that I don't actually need this yet. I'm just going to get the villagers. What am I doing? I'm trying to get the bullseye. That was really dumb. I can get achievements, you know, any day. What I can't do every day is steal villagers. Now, stealing villagers is actually my passion. You're working for me on my awesome farm. Please enjoy. Please rate five star. And they left instantly. Great. Fantastic. Go out of the way. Out of the way. Incoming. Sir, you ready for the best roller coaster of your life? Zip. 
Zoom! Yeah! And come back to slow. Now I've ran out of railways to kidnap this villager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I kidnap the village? No, 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 no. Oh, you. He's on a runner. He's on a runner. Hey, hey. I've ruined half the farm, but I think I've successfully kidnapped a villager. Yes, we have an unlimited wheat farm. The villagers are working for me. They're doing business. Oh, I can't believe I did it. Oh, this is taking way too long, but we got we got infinite wheat now. Infinite wheat for Renny Drag. Oh, boy. That is what we love to see. And now I got to clean up. Ah, oh, look, look, look how look how much of a mess I've made. This villager just didn't want to cooperate. I'm over it now. It's, you know, it's taken me a million times, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm definitely over it. I'm definitely, yep, mm -hmm. yep, 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 yep. Okay, next achievement, I gotta make honey blocks. We we love a bit of honey. Wait, excuse me, sir, how did you get up here? How we, How is your, any trades that I could use? No, nothing, great. Your deals are probably the worst on earth, sir. I should just let you know that. No, I don't think anyone's gonna buy your deals. Okay, well, sir, watch this amazing trick. I'm gonna jump all those honey blocks. <laughs> jump into a honey block to break your fall. Ah, uh, into, oh, oh, into a honey block. Uh... Oh, right, that was really stupid. I bet you guys are on the edge of your seat watching this. Like, what is the next dumb thing he's gonna do? Could almost ruin his world. Jump from that to that. <laughs> what am I doing? Probably gonna should grab some more honey than this, to be honest. All right, let's build this. I can't jump. I literally can't jump. Question is, is how is this skeleton? Oh, I could get another achievement quickly, quickly. Another achievement. Where is my shield? Right there. Shoot. Yeah, another achievement down, baby. Oh, oh, dead. I should be able to survive this. If not, I am the worst Minecraft player to cease life. Right, let's go. We, yeah, we did it. Sticky situation. That was quite a sticky situation. Me dying all over and over and over again. Great. Now I've tried to Fortnite crank 90s here and this just hasn't worked. Okay, one thing I need- one thing I do need to do is collect gas tiers so I can respawn the ender dragon. I don't actually think I have gas tiers anyway. I, I literally say that. Right, let's grab a new chest quickly first. I think that's probably a good idea. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Hoppers. While my sand smelts, like we don't have enough already, I'm gonna make an iron golem for an achievement. She a you. And then... Boop. Yeah! Hired help. Hello, sir. Welcome to a brand new family of... Oh, well, no one's here except that guy over there. You can be, you can be friends with the guy over there. Yeah, he's, he's chilling. He's, he's chilling over there. Ah, oh, look at these happy farmers. They're trading over there and they're trading, but they... Yeah, everyone's a happy farmer over here. No one's forced to do anything at all. No, no siree. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this glass should be done. Boom there. Boom. Boom. And now we are literally gonna go straight and show this second ender dragon who's boss. That's it. This is how confident I am. I've got my notch apples. Let's go. Let's do this. Right. Okay. You can you can tell how... Why? I, I, I have no words. How have I done that? I've gone into the nether thinking it was the end. Oh, that was that was a low blow even for me. I've had a stinker. I've had an absolute stinker. We'll ignore that. I mean, yeah, let's go fight the ender dragon. Yeah, yeah, ender dragon. Let's respawn this bad boy. One, two, three, four. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh, it's respawning. It's respawning. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? It's so silent. What? I'm going to do more flybys. Oh, I forgot to bring arrows. The end again. We got the achievement, but now we actually got to kill the ender dragon. Again. Now I'm gonna be careful this time. Whee. Make sure I get all of them this time. One there. Okay, cool. One there. Nice. One there. Oh, three in a row. Four. Five in a row. Oh, six in a row. No. Oh, we're on fire, baby. We are absolutely on fire. Okay, there's one down. Awesome. I say there's one down. There's one cage down. Let's get another cage one down. We'll put two here and protect myself. I'm somewhat of a pro gamer myself. Just beating the Ender Dragon for a second time. Regeneration. Right, I'm just gonna sit you now and kill the Ender Dragon. Yeah, let's do this for the second time. Okay, I just lost the totem. I completely missed recorded it. I didn't get it on record. Well, I was AFK. An enemy has come up behind me and absolutely sniped me. Absolutely sniped me. Now, I could actually die now. I'm kind of scared like this. I say that as I'm dive bomb into the floor. Please. Yee, come on. Uh, I'm going to do it. Yeah, come on. Yes. Is that it? Did I do it? Did I hit the right minute? Yeah, I did it. I did it. More XP. Look at this. Let's go! Woo! That is truly epic. Okay, let's go in the portal. So what's in the chest then? Nothing interesting. Fantastic. Have we got looting three? That was the second Ender Dragon. So now that we beat the Ender Dragon for the second time, I think it was time to go collect Wither Skulls to beat the Wither. Don't know if I'll have enough time, but I do want to kill the Wither, so maybe I should go look for Wither Skulls. Now, I do have looting three on my sword, so hopefully we'll get some results this time. Let's hope. Cross fingers. Mm. Whee! In we go. I put I put an arrow last time I was here. Here is our lovely, beautiful arrow pointing this way to indicate, yep, the, it's this way. Whee! Okay, just gotta make sure I'm going the right way. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's definitely this way. So, let's head over this way and get to the fortress. Whee!
Hello, Piggy. Have you seen any wither skulls anywhere? No. Okay, right. Okay, there are blazes. There are blazes here, but not wither skulls so far. Hoopla! Wee! Right, let's have a look. Any wither skulls? Skeletons? Hmm. Oh, yeah, hello, sir. You come right to me. Okay, no skull. You win some, you lose some. With the skeleton skulls. Where would they be, hmm? Oh, here they'd be. Hello, sir. Meow. I haven't brought arrows. Why do I keep making this mistake? Why do I not bring any arrows? This may take a while. This may take a few hours or so. Hmm. Two more with us, yeah, but there are way more places. And I don't want to die. Yes! We got it! Oh, we did it! Sir, two guys here. Die. Oh, we got another one. We got another one, baby. We got two with the skulls. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, that was close. Da oh. Because you here. We got two skulls, though. We, we got two skulls. The loot in three. The loot in three within me is just helping. Right, you guys. What do you got to give your skulls? Oh, my goodness. There's so many blaze. I may as well just eat this giant gapple. Right, we're going to run into the mists of this and eat this one gapple. There you go. Now I got fire res. I ate the notch apple. I did it. So, yeah, fire res is pretty cool. My right blazes. Oh, here we go. What's going on? Whoa, there's a lot of you guys. Let's go. We need this. Okay, not you. Drop me a skull. Give me a skull. The dice is not in my favor right now. It is taking way too long. It is, it is taking way too... This is taking way too long. I thought that Enderman was a uh, skeleton then. We're getting a lot of coal from this. There's no skull. Come on, buddy. No. No, he just took the head. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, please, let's just go. I've never seen that before. The other skeleton picked up the skull and then like wore it or something and then i took it back off him but we got three. Oh, let's go home let's go home let's go home i don't actually know where i am because i think i'm lost up and around maybe i have no idea where the heck i'm going right now there it is oh yes we're home with three weather skulls let's go it's taking way too long but we did it yes i, I can't believe it i can't believe we've actually done that okay let's grab xp he lost stuff and hope no creepers explode okay i've quickly added another layer to the uh chest collector for the mob grinder because these chests are filling up really quickly, so dump it all in the new chests. We got it, boys. The soul sand is here. This brings the question, where do I want to fight the wither? Because I do want to fight the wither. Should probably grab arrows for this. Zombie chicken! Yay, now we got a chicken. I'm going to fight the wither in the end. One notch apple, just in case. I'll bring one notch apple. We also got another achievement, which is very nice. Spooky, scary skeletons. So that's a good achievement. Okay, anything we actually need. I do want to fight this wither naturally. So I'm going to make it out in the open. And let's see if we can kill the wither. Already fought the ender dragon twice. One, two, three. Oh, uh oh, okay. We got an achievement. Let's go. Withering heights. That's another achievement under our belt. Whoopew. Okay, that didn't work. That literally, why did I try that? Why did I even do that? Okay, the wither's chasing me. Uh oh, whoopew. Okay, this guy's actually on my tail. This is not epic. Whoopew! Okay, I'm doing a lot of damage. Look at that! Oh, I'm gonna die. Whoopew! Do you guys like my sound effects? All right, how do you actually escape this thing? Whoopam! Whoopam! Okay, I'm gonna do drive-bys. Ready? Come on, me boy! Whew! There's endermen on me? Oh, no. I didn't want that. That's what I didn't want to happen. Come down, buddy. Come on down. There's another. Oh, this guy's doing some damage now. I see the gapple. Okay, now I'm taking real damage. This is dangerous fire with... Yeah. Right, I think I'm gonna play safe and just stay on the floor. Because my bow is doing a lot of damage. So let's check on my armor piece. Let's take less damage. I can't actually hit you with it. Come on. Okay, there's another hit. No, I went home. Ah, ah, no. Ah. Oh, I made a mistake. Die. Die. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I'm taking the wither like a champ right now. This is, he's not even doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Well, that was the wither fight. I, mean, I probably could have done it a lot better, but... Oh, way home. So that's the wither done. I can't believe it. We've done the wither and the ender dragon twice. How are these guys coming along? I do need to get another zombie now for that and trade some carrots since we have loads. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work off camera. And now when you come down here, you might think, uh, Renny Drag, what, what the heck is this? Um, well, listen, I, I can explain. Yeah, this doesn't look good, does it? What has happened is if any of... If all of these chests get full, then I have this secondary lot that comes down here and goes all the way down here. It looks so ugly. Why have I done it like this? No one's gonna see it because it's under the base. I probably should have expanded in that direction, which I probably will do now. Do you know if there's any extra items I need? They're all here. I am kind of glad all of this is below the base. Hello, sir. That's all the maintenance I've done to down here. I've just added more space to the AFK farming. And let's just say it's good that we, we, we can't see it. Do I have mending on my axe? I don't think I do. Let's get mending on my axe. Mending! Right, I gotta do some selling to the villagers. I still need to get a zombie in so I can get better deals with the carrot man. So I can sell my AFK carrot farm. Get mending on my axe. Bada boom, bada boom. But I could probably heal everything, actually. Let's go. The only thing now I don't have is a shovel with mending. Okay, I've come to check on my AFK wheat farmer. Hello, sir. And his good friend, Trader Joe. Hello, buddy. Right, let's see how much they've done so far. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Almost a stack of bread. Three wheat and wheat seeds. So it turns out this guy actually makes bread for me automatically. And the seeds and wheat as well. So well, that, that's a very nice touch. I like that a lot. I could probably sell that to a few of the villagers over there. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. 
Okay, I just realized I'm actually missing a cow from my farm. I don't know how this has happened. So, buddy, you're coming with me. Come on, pal, pal, buddy, old friend. Into your brand new home. Yay, artificial grass. Now I do need to get weight to breed these guys. So I'm actually going to head over there now. Pleasure doing business with you guys. Wow. Whoa. No, I'm falling. Ah. I might actually add some parkour to my base. How cool would that be? Some parkour from up here. Jump down and you just gotta do some parkour. Here you go, cows. Moo. They made baby. Yay. Okay, we're back in the end because now I need to expand my little end island. I think that's what I want to do next. I have a lot of spake chorus fruit to use. So what I'm gonna do, just mine out a little bit of this area, take the end stone back and build our little end area. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I've dug out this area for some nice end stone. I'll take this all back now, but it looks quite tidy. Clean. Okay, since we got all of this end stone, let's see what we can do with it back home. Ooh okay, because now I actually need to put somewhere for the egg. Okay, is the egg in this chest? No. Okay, I actually don't know where the egg is. What have I done with the egg? Uh-oh. Okay, I got the egg. Let's see what I can do with all of this. I kind of just want to expand it, make it look more end-like. I'm thinking first things first is to, like, expand it so I have more space to make it look less egg-like and just spread it out like this. So it looks more like an end mound rather than an end egg. I want to have an area for the end egg and make the end egg look nice. This can't be the end egg because because that is the end egg. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks a bit rough around the edges. Let's expand this egg. Let's grab all these chorus fruits and start placing them around the sides because I kind of want to make it look like it's, it's abandoned. I'm going to expand the chorus fruit. Okay, let's use these seven here. Okay, and with time, I hope they all grow out on the sides as well there. Oh, hello, sir. You've come into the real world. It looks a little bit better. Doesn't look the best thing you've ever seen ever, but it is my creation and that is all that matters. Yeah, I love you, Egg Mound. I love you, End End Mound. What a fantastic build. <laughs> Great. Okay, one thing that I should try and do as well is also expand this beacon and max out this beacon, but I'm going to need a lot more iron. How much iron do I actually have? I definitely don't have enough iron for this, but... You know, I'm going to start it anyway. For the moment of truth, where am I going to put the dragon egg? You know what? I'm going to put it right outside. The dragon egg's throne. Finally, a use for the green glass. I don't actually know if I have magenta. How why, How am I taking so much damage? That was so dumb. Right. Egg, you're going in. Boom! Dragon egg. You know what? That doesn't look too shabby. 29 diamonds. An armor stand. I don't think I've actually put an armor stand down anyway. Drink some suspicious too. Nothing. Because literally, why not? I'm going to make a full set of diamond armor. Just, just looks cool. Just a little cool thing to have. Okay, I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work here, as you can tell. <laughs> All I've done here is sneakily add more chests to our AFK farm, right? So you have all of these chests. If these chests are full here, all the items will change course and start going all the way down here. And I'm going to call this the vault. Thousands and thousands and thousands of items and the stairway going all the way down here. You know what? This might be a little bit OP. And I will admit, this is a game feature, but also kind of a little bit of an exploit that I am going to take advantage of because now we have unlimited items. I'll get back to you guys when we see the results. I've been gone. A bit longer than I should have been. How many carrots? Ooh, we've doubled the chest. We've doubled the chest in just this time. What's going on, dudes? How much, how much bread are we making? We back in bread? Oh, all of these are filled to the brim with just loot. Look at all of this loot. There's so much just random items. It's as if I've filled all of these items myself, but I haven't. It's just, they're just all here. They're just all here to stay if I need anything. It's just, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. And I think the reason why it took so long to fill that is because these are now filled. Way a totem oven dying. Let's go, baby. Another lime green chocolate box. Technically a totem farm now. You know, if I ever need a totem oven dying, I'll just have a look if there's one there. And there was one there. That's pretty epic, if, you, if, I, if I do say so myself. Let's fill up on a little bit of XP quickly. I kind of do want to get a zombie, but right now it's day and that means we can't get a zombie, unfortunately. Okay, since it's day and I need it to be night to get a zombie for our villager trades, I'm actually going to automate our sugarcane farm, okay? And to do this, we're going to need some observers and some pistons, okay? And we're going to set this up so it's all nice and automated. Automatic. Right, we've got another zombie on the loose. I repeat, we got a zombie. This guy's got an iron sword. He's gonna be dangerous. Right, go. Ow. We did it! We've caught a zombie. Yes! Now I need a name tag. This is my last name tag. Simply Bob. Bob the zombie. Hello, Bob. There we go. Bob's here. Run from Bob! Bye, Bob. We want discounts on the carrots. Yes. You go down into the zombie, sir. Now let's go to sleep to get rid of the phantoms. Nothing interesting. It's, it's like sugar cane in time. Yeah, That's my luck. classic catchphrase. Right. So we've got two up here. I'm a good builder, I promise. I can I can do the building. I'm learning because honestly, I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I've played Minecraft for like all of basically all my life, and I've never touched an observer. 
Okay, so apparently the redstone needs to connect to the back. That it worked. A cow. It worked. We're doing it. It's so simple yet so effective. Now, if I wanted to do more, I can just fill in the gap like that. But I'm gonna need repeaters, right? And I could probably do the same here and add a row of pistons on both sides so we can farm infinite sugar cane. I don't even know if I have enough pistons for this. This is where we're gonna collect all of the sugar cane. I am playing with fire here. I'm on thin ice. I could have died there. That was really dumb. Gah. I'm gonna die. I've never been this low. Emergency firework! Ah! Back to safety, please. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. There we go. We're observing both ends right now. Now all I gotta do is get repeaters, but also this is not flowing in right. Yeah, it works. So now all of the sugar cane should fall into there. And there we go. We did it. There we go. Any sugar cane that grows up to that point, it will all get broken down. Is that even high enough? Well, I'm proud of that. There's the sugar cane firework farm. There's, fire there's gunpowder in there for fireworks. Now we have a fully functioning automatic sugar cane farm all the way back there, just for you cows. I know you love your sugar cane, of course. Question is, is our villager zombified? Yes! It has actually worked. Right, now we pull you up, we splash you, and we give you an apple. Yes! Yes! And they'll give me the best carrot deals in the world. We go grab the carrot from the automatic farm. Boom. Bang. Boom. I think everyone watching this realizing that this is not it. This entire... This just isn't it. You know, I'm, I'm sorry keeping this here for so long. I'm so sorry. Apology video coming soon. I should make a formal apology to my audience right now. The, 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 just this. This is a bit of a monstrosity just in the middle of the base. Basalt cobblestone path lovers out there. I know I know. there's a few of you like, yeah, that actually looked really cool, Renny Drag. That is a very unique and cool uh, design to floor. You know what? If you're watching right now and you've made it all the way this far in the video, comment uh, wow, cool floor, Renny Drag, please. I want to see how many of you awesome dudes have watched it this far into the video. Maybe there's not even a single person. Maybe there's not even one guy. But maybe there is a few of you avid Renny Drag enjoyers and you're still here. So hello. This is my hello just to you. If you're watching right now, you're awesome. I freaking said it. You're awesome. Thank you for watching my videos. These are taking way too long to make. But you know what? It's for the content. For the content. That's what I always say. I always say for the content and then I have to do it. Come on, cat. Out the way. For the content. For the content. I did say that if I make it too close, it will like, you know, it'll si there's lava in there. So, you know, I don't want my base setting on fire because it is all made out of wood. At the same time, it looks extremely ugly. I never thought I'd see the day where this actually looks good. But here we are. Here we are. We did it, gamers. I fixed the cobblestone generator. There's probably people screaming throughout the video like, that looks so ugly. Way Not too shabby. He's done it! Cow, I don't know why you're on top of the automatic farm, but you can chill up there, buddy. You can chill up there. I gotta I gotta bring the wheat and farm the animals because right now population is not as big. Oh, you know what? I'm lazy. Yeah. The duality of men using elytra, walking normally. Who are who are you? I definitely choose flying three meters with an elytra. You know, it's worth it. You know, I could be bothered to walk to that chest. Rocket! I almost wasted a totem. That could have been so bad. Thank you. Daily eight and XP intake. It's a lot of gosh dang mobs, I can't lie. Wow, look at the forest of chorus fruit that we've grown. Unbelievable. He looks so crazy. Mr. Villager, sir, if you healed, please don't despawn. <gasps> yes, you've healed. Eleven. I can do you one better. In with the zombies. Ha <laughs> ha, fool on you, sir. And this is just a prank. Epic prank. Welcome to Renny Pranks TV. We're, we're, we're throwing this innocent man into the zombies. Where you'll get eaten by a zombie. What an epic prank. Yeah. That is not protection for. That's I'm impaling for. Am I dumb? How, how has I made this mistake? Mistake. I don't even know. I can spy on Bob right here. Can't get me, Bob. This is the Bob hole. Guys, do not go near Bob, okay? Bye, sir. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Bob's one of the villagers now. Bye, Bob. Well, our friend Farmer Joe was taking an L again. Don't worry, Farmer Joe. I'm here for you, baby. Yeah. I can heal you up. I can save you, Joe. Just bear with me till I get my carrots and then bring them back to you and sell them and you have no idea. Joe's healing. I'm just gonna go grab the carrots. This just is business, you know? Business is business. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> That's a lot of carrots. Oh, Joe's gonna be happy. Joe's gonna have a smile on his face when he sees that I've healed him and I have multiple carrots. Coincidence? I think not. Let's quickly sell to our good old Rod flesh guy. You got 28 emeralds from the gold guy. I swear I had thorns somewhere. Thorns is a good deal. Right, let's take advantage of a librarian and get thorns. Let's use this guy because he's clearly not what he's meant to be. So, thorns three, please. Come on, baby. Right, Farmer Joe has gone five carrots for one emerald. So now, I'm gonna go over to the second Farmer Joe and just don't mind me, guys. I'm gonna grab like as many carrots as I'd like. Probably a lot more than that. Now we're gonna go over to Farmer Joe one and just sell his friend's carrots to him. And we bam. Bam, 
Emeralds, bam, emeralds, bam, bosh, bam, bam. Actually, let's get a separate shulker box for our good old friend Farmer Joe. An orange shulker box would be ideal. There we go. Carrots in there. I'm going to sell those to you, sir. And you can do pumpkins as well. I don't know if we can get a pumpkin farm, but pleasure doing business with you, buddy. So for what I'm going to do next, you know, I've built a lot of things on my little base on my island. So I've built a lot of things on my island, like the trading hall, this, the great mob grinder, the farms, the tree farm, the end portal. But I've never actually built anything for my Myself, like a house. So, if I can expand in a direction like to the right here, I could probably build myself a nice house. That That's what I'm hoping for. And make it look actually nice. You know, like a nice house? You, you guys will see. So, let's expand this land. Let's do this. But first, gamers, we're gonna have to cut down trees. Let's go. So, it was finally time for me to actually make a nice home for myself where I could actually live and put all my items and chests inside of. So, the first thing we needed to do was get way more land. And to do this, I would need way more jungle slabs. So, that meant we we had to go back to the tree farm and start mining up all of the jungle wood for a few minutes. And then it was time to actually start expanding and building the land itself. So I decided to go off this side of the base because it was near the two portals, which was accessible. And it was one of the more accessible areas where I could just walk to. So with this being said, I built a giant square off the side. And now this was enough space for me to start building my very own house. Okay, so I've gathered a little bit of inspiration for houses on Google. And now I'm going to actually have to build the house itself, which I'm not the best at. I'm not a, I'm not a very good builder. I'm not actually going to use jungle wood for the build. I'm actually going going to use all of this oak wood for the build. It'll probably stand out a lot more. And I'll also use cobblestone from the cobblestone generator as well. Two things that I haven't really used this playthrough. So it'll be a nice change, a nice wooden change for the base, I think, itself. Let's get mining all of this oak wood itself, and then um, we'll start building the house itself, I guess. So I'm actually going to have this house elevated with, like, stairs. And then it'll have like a balcony and stuff. So, all right. I don't actually know how I'm going to do this. And I'm going to have to use my brain. My very small, smooth brain to build this. How the heck do I build all any of this? Viewers may be advised. Renny Drag is a terrible builder. Oh, goodness. Okay, here, here, here we go. Now, with absolutely zero good building experience, you know, I give building this house my best shot. Because in life, you just have to try your best. And that's, that's all you can ask for. So, I started with this cool stair design going up. And then the house would be on top of the stairs and, and the house to be elevated with a balcony and stuff. And I like the idea of a balcony and a window looking over my base. So that's what I went with. It was a bit tricky trying to get all of the wood going back and forth from the farm, getting wood and bringing it all the way back. But once I did have enough wood, building the house itself was extremely easy because I was just deciding to do whatever I felt like. That is the best part of Minecraft. You do you. You do whatever you want to do. So while experimenting with this build, I was having fun and figuring out what I wanted to do. My I, I was enjoying myself. And I also had to light up the area because mobs were spawning. Now I haven't actually finished the house right now, but I have the outline and I think I know which direction I want to go in with the house. So far, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the house, but I still got a little bit of work to do. Alright guys, while building my house, what do you guys think so far? We got this cool balcony, we got this, uh, the stairs going up, we got this balcony here, I still need to finish the glass windows, we got a nice little room in here. Uh, I've, I'm using this to get onto the roof, we ignore that, but it, this actually looks pretty cozy and nice. Got the balcony here, we can probably sit and have a look, and then in here we have the view over the base like that, and then here we have the stairs going down obviously, and then back into the base. Anyway, while I was building my house, I was looking for supplies in the chests. Obviously, the chests have been refilled. Bada bing, bada boom. And I found 63 iron blocks. So, I've added a layer to that. Let's try and get as much. Wait, no, I've already done that side. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna try and add as much to this beacon as I possibly can. I think I gotta go like this. I think we've done it. I think this is a supercharged beacon, right? Right, there we go, there we go. Now we just gotta go grab a gold or a diamond. Diamond! Right, speed, go. Am I missing something? How do you get a beacon to full power? I swear this is full power beacon. Is there another level I'm missing? Okay, I'm an idiot. We need one more layer for the beacon to be full power. I'm just an idiot. I didn't know that. I'll have this shulker here for the iron blocks. Maybe I could expand that. If I find enough iron or if I kill enough iron golems, you know, goes, goes both ways. Right, let's add glass to my build quickly and finish this bit off. Now, I'm gonna have to do the roof. Oh, wait, I need a little bit more glass. And I, I have no idea how I'm gonna do the roof. Right, so I gotta finish this. I'm gonna try to add one of those triangle roofs that go on top. I might struggle with this. I probably am gonna struggle with this, but that's fine. Anyway, first things first. We need cobblestone. So let's quickly mine all this cobblestone. I'm just gonna sit here and mine cobblestone until I have lots of cobblestone. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, got a stack of cobble from all of that. Right, let's see how much days we can get. Maybe I could stone cut it. Stone cutting was probably a bad idea, actually. The mobs are overtaking my house. 
Oh, no. Excuse me, Skeleton. I'm literally missing this every every time. Let's go to sleep. Let's just kill them via the sun. Right, now to add a roof. And there's a skeleton in here. Everyone's in here. I think I should get lanterns because lanterns are the cool way to light up a house, I think. I don't know how to do this. I think you got to flip the stairs then like that. I've never built a roof like this before. And you know what? It actually feels quite nice. Okay, I just realized how many stairs I'm actually going to need to do this roof. I think I've done a good job. Maybe now I can change over to a different kind of stair. There we go. That's not too bad. My house. I have a house. Okay, now I'm going to substitute the middle of the cobblestone roof into like oak. And then we'll go back to the cobblestone at the top to finish it off. So we'll have a little bit of little bit of a variety in the roof itself. I think will be a quite nice uh, touch. Bam! There we go. The house is done. Uh, we've got a wooden rooftop with cobblestone design below. Now I don't have logs to bring down like that. Okay. Quick mine. Let's quickly fix that. Okay. We've got the wood. So let's add an extra support beam there. I'm happy with that. Oh, we got to get rid of this. It's not the best house anyone has ever seen, but it's my house. And it's, it's, this cat wants to get up the stairs. I'm happy with it. I still got to finish the glass. Now I got to bring all my items over and stuff. All the stuff that I want to use, like my shulker boxes. Let's pop these in the house. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. I'm quite happy with that. I know I've said that a million bajillion times, but it's the truth. Finally, a real place to store my items. Can't believe I'd see the day, but the day is today. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now I just need my lime green bed back. And probably I'll grab the furnaces. But also, I forgot missing touches. Leaves. You can't forget the leaves. You can't forget the leaves. The leaves adds design to every single house ever. Yeah, okay. The leaves also add a little bit extra detail. Yeah, that looks not too bad. Yeah, that's the billionth time I've said that. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, at least everyone knows now the house does look bad. I can't believe we did it. Maybe adding some lanterns to the house would be a good idea. Add some coziness. Right, I found green wool in one of the chests, so hopefully now I can make a lime green bed. Yes, I can. We've also got our glass to finish up the finishing touches. I didn't actually find any lanterns, but I probably will have a look now the next day. Bedtime. Just been refilled. Okay, the chest gives us a lantern now. This would be the best. No lanterns, gosh dang it. Realizing that I didn't actually just need to find lanterns from a chest. You know, I did actually have iron and torches, so I could just simply make lanterns. So that's what I did. There we go. Ten lanterns will do the trick. Ooh. Ow. Put one there, one there. Oh, this looks so much better. Lantern. Boom. Lantern. Boom. Lantern. Boom. Yes, this looks so much better. Lantern there. Lantern there. Yeah. My house is done. I've taken a while. But boom. House. <laughs> Yay. Well, sir, have I got carrots for you, buddy? Who else do I do my daily trades with? Aha. My good friend, the cleric. Well, there we go. There's probably a stack of emeralds. I need to put mending on my bow. I just realized I don't actually have mending on my bow. So, sir, I need to get a bow for my mending. A bow for my mending? A bow for my mending? Yes. We did it, guys. We got the mending book for the bow. I just realized my anvil broke. Now we need another anvil. Shooty gun. Shooty gun is my bow. Yeah, right. Now I need to kill mobs with my shooty gun. Right, that healed way quicker than I thought it was. Look at that. All right, let's check on the sugarcane farm. They've been cut down. Let's have a look. Um, there we go. We got some sugarcane coming in. Let's go. I don't know if we can sell. We can sell the paper to a cartographer. That would be very cool. And look how many carrots we have. The business is booming. Did someone kill my villager? No. No. I could just go grab another one from the from the from the museum of villagers. Okay. Now a lot of you are probably have been screaming at your phone or computer the entire playthrough. Now, I know this base doesn't look the best. I, I will admit, it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look fantastic, but it, it's it's definitely unique and has its own charm. Hello, Stir, you're gonna die. And also, with all of the items in all of these chests, absolutely nothing at all is organized. There is no organization at all. And I think a lot of people might not like that. Maybe some people don't, okay? But uh, I think it's about time, right, that I, I start putting some order to this to this place get things a little bit more organized a bit bit more neatly a bit more tied together I don't want to keep doing this you know I don't want to keep just spam clicking all of my items this can stay like that this is below the base no one has to see this that's below the base you know what I should do I should make a new area I should make a brand new area let's let's do a little bit of expanding again right and I'm not gonna bore you guys with the boring bits let's grab all this jungle we're gonna do jungle again of course let's get a little bit of organization shall we finally a little bit of organization from me and for the fifth millionth time this video I made a brand new platform where I could build on top of. Are you guys proud of me? It's a, it's a it's a brand new extension to the base. You guys haven't seen this before. This is brand new, original. On this expansion, I made space for a lot of chests. And in these chests, we're gonna have organized categories for items. We're gonna have organized items all in these chests. So let's do this. Chests! 
Yes! Okay, right, guys. Let's go sleep. Then in the morning, I'm gonna start to organize things. Whoa! Chest has been refilled. Right. I'm gonna need to organize, which means I'm gonna need a free inventory. Because if I'm gonna do this, I've gotta do this right. Gosh dang it. Everything is going in there. Right, we got a free inventory. Now it is time to start organizing all of these items. Now, I kind of have an idea what I wanna do. Boom! Okay, so, so far, I have all the blocks. I have all the items here. I have, we have tools, like armor and uh, tools, obviously. We have wood, which is wood then we have valuables stuff like this then we have food which is obviously food and i still got a lot to do so i'm gonna just put all of these items into all of this and make it look neat and tidy and hopefully it'll look good in the end and i'm not gonna bore you guys with the details so let's do this while i am sorting through the items let's get a quick achievement boop 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 Boop. All right, gamers, let's grab all of this and let me show you what I've done, what I've been up to. When you come over here, you'll probably notice for the first time in forever that there's no chests. There's no random shulker boxes all over the place. Hmm, what could this possibly be? Well, my friends, if we come round here, we have some nice, neat signs. Blocks, items, tools, wood, valuables. And if you check, bam, we got shulker boxes. Bam, we got food. Bam, we got valuables. Bam, we got wood. Bam, we got tools. Whoa. And bam, we got building blocks. All neat and tidy in this one area. And I've also put leaves around the sides like that, which is a very nice addition. And I think it adds. I could probably change the mangrove, but this is where it all started. This is where it begun. And maybe, do I change the stairs? Do I even need the stairs? You know what? I don't even need these stairs. So, we're gonna go down and break all the stairs. So now it was finally time to get rid of the mob spawner farm. And by this, I mean the stairs of the mob farm. And yes, I can finally admit that this was very ugly. I will admit, it was very, very, very ugly. Some would say super mega duper mega ugly. It was it was an ugly, it was an ugly staircase. So it was time to get rid of it and just clean up the mob farm a little bit. Even though I don't think there's any redemption for the way this mob farm actually looks. I mean, just look at it. It's, it has its own unique charm. And sometimes that's all we look for. That's okay. But it is pretty ugly. Well, guys, there goes the staircase. That's still there, though. I'm, go I'm gonna fix that. Good thing I got this to the light right now. Woo! Whoa, whoa. Ow. That was we I need feather falling. I actually need feather falling. Because that was too much damage. Oh. Yeah, I could probably clean this up. They're all gone. Yes. It shows our humble beginnings. Right, guys. I'm going to sleep tonight. And in the morning, I have a cool idea for a new project. Something we're going to make. Okay, I hope you guys like this one. <sighs> Let's go to sleep. Uh, wait. There's mobs. Hello? Galaton, I hear you. Don't be messing with me now, boy. Yes. Chest to refill. Let's quickly have a look in the chest. A name tag. That's actually really useful. Today, boys, we are gonna make an iron farm with all of those iron golems. How are you escaped again, you stinky, stinky, stinky baby zombie? We, we might have to make expand the base again. Something you probably and I'm all used to by now is just expanding in a random direction. So we gotta do that first. Make some space for our iron farm. Which way it's gonna be? Right, uh, probably this way. Let's do it over there. Okay, we're gonna get this expansion in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, where did this come from? And, and actually, where did you come from? I actually don't know where you came from. We can actually buy dirt from this guy. Right, now here is where I'm gonna build the infinite iron farm. Follow a tutorial! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tutorial music has started. So finally, it was time to start building one of my favorite and most effective Minecraft farms. And this was obviously the iron farm. This would help us in a way where once we got so much iron, we could fully power up the beacon, which would give us cool buffs and also give me one extra achievement. So building this iron farm was essential to me. You could probably guess why, but for the main building block of the iron farm, I wanted to use lime green just to have something, at least lime green, in my base. So what I actually had to do was trap three villagers inside of a glass cage where they'd all turn farmers, working farmers come on buddies time to go up the roller coaster yay you're gonna have so much more free joy up here and we would scare them with a zombie which would alert the iron golem to spawn and once the iron golem spawns the iron golem will die in lava drop iron into a hopper and that is it the iron golems keep spawning we keep getting iron and it is super effective and super awesome. The one thing I will say that this iron farm was extremely tedious to set up because not only did we need three villagers, we also needed a zombie and we also needed a redstone clock below the actual trap itself. So guys, I can't believe we did it, but I've actually made a 
functional working iron farm. These guys are panicking. And uh, the chest is producing iron and the iron golems are burning. Let's go. I've done it. So that is a fully functioning iron farm that's just going to sit there now and farm iron for us. I'm going to make its own chest. So if I ever need to repair it or anything, I can have its own chest right here. That sounds stupid, but makes sense in my head. So, right, let's go to sleep. I kind of want to see and just stand next to it to see how much iron it can produce. Whee! Why is there creepers in my attic? Right, well, I've obviously got to put torches in my attic. I can't even go to sleep because it's a new day. What have we got in the chest, though? Hello, cat. More grass block. How is there an iron golem on the side? Oh, it's because I, I wasn't supposed to place these blocks. That's why. These blocks were not supposed to be placed. I've already done an oopsie. Sorry, sir. You're going to have to die. You were meant to be burning in lava, sir. Let's see how much iron we can get. I'm back. It's been a while. Let's have a look if my... Okay, Bob 2 is still there. We're, we're still... Uh... Still iron farming. Please say this is working now. Oh, I went for so long as well. Oh, I should have double checked. Gamers, I've made a severe lapse in ju my judgment. And I'm simply here to apologize. I truly thought I'd fixed it. So then what's the problem? What is the problem? Do they not spawn here? All right, so now, so now you want to work when I, I'm not standing there for an hour or two. Great, great. Amazing, amazing. E. Eee! Phew! Right, so if I stood here, would have it worked the entire time? Great. It's good to know that it is working now. Anyway, good thing for you guys, that would have taken, like, a millisecond, not two hours. I just would have hoped that right now I would have had enough iron to finish off the beacon, but you win some, you lose some. You know what? I'm actually gonna move the beacon. That is what I'm actually gonna use this time to do, because it's kind of right here, kind of, like, slap bang in the middle of, like... No way. We need to move this bad boy. This, there's a lot more breathable room now that the beacon's actually gone. And actually, this is quite nice. Is this making us money now? Bino. Yes, it's literally doubled from 19 to 40. That's amazing. And I've only been here two minutes. It's working. Fantastic. Those poor iron golem. I did it. That's actually not a bad spot. Okay, I know. I don't know how I keep running into this problem, but literally these chests are full. Okay, so the chest farm farm is actually filling up already, as you can tell with all of these items. So now I just got to keep expanding it and going down and down. If I fall, I have my lighter and fireworks. We're okay. I'm not worried. Unless I start taking damage. There's another chest there. Another chest there. How low can I go? That is the real question. What I could do is actually start expanding down there. We'll have two chest lines going down. Like if I add a chest there and connect it there. So when that fills up or that fills up, it'll start going down to there. And then I'll go into here. <laughs> oh, we're going to have chests for days. Items are going to go all the way down to that chest down there. And all of these are going to fill up with items. Then if that fills up, then these fill up. And these fill up. Then these will fill up. The items are already flowing down here. And I'm actually going to use the wood from these chests to make more chests. And then the, the cycle continues. The cycle goes on forever. Now, the best part of this item collecting strategy is that I just acquired a brand new iron farm. Which means I could use all of the iron from that to create more hoppers, which will give us an even bigger chest farm. The items do not wait for nobody. I don't even know at this point. I'm losing my mind. And then we're just going to repeat this cycle all the way down there. There you have it. All of these chests are now going to be filling in with so many items. And these chests are going to be doing the exact same. We're going to have a lot of items. Look at that. That is that looks so dumb. We've mass produced chests. And the iron golems are still dying. Come on. Please give me some good iron. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Stack and two stacks of iron. And we get poppies in the process as well. Chests are being refilled. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, next on the agenda this time I'm actually gonna AFK when the iron golems are working. I don't want to jinx it. For you guys, this is gonna be a second. For me, probably an hour. Let's, let's see how much iron we get. Uh, guys, I waited so long in my iron farm that I kind of ended up in a uh, pizzeria. I don't know what's going on, guys. Well, 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 we've returned and it, it wasn't that long. How many iron do you think we've had? That is the real question. I have just wanted to just AFK just to get Get to my end. Bob 2 still going up and down, bobbing up and down, huh, bobbing up and down. <laughs> Let's get this iron. <sighs> Holy moly! That is a lot more iron than I than I thought we'd get. Oh yes. Right now, if we just fill this up, that that's a lot of iron. Is this going to fill the beacon? There's only one way to find out. Come on, please. Ooh, we need more iron. We. Oh, that poor iron golem. Chuck all of this in here. Truth, please work. I really hope this works, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. For the moment of truth. Bam! Let's go! Beaconator! We did it! We got the Beaconator achievement. Gonna work? Yeah! Zoom! We do be zooming. We do be zooming. We got a full power beacon on the on the aisle, on, on the base. And I'm so glad everything is neatly packed up in chests. But there, that is a very nice touch. Let's check how the chests are doing. Are they filling up? If I fly out, oh, that was really stupid. Oh, yeah, they're filling up all right. We 
we literally have infinite items. Like, there's 31 grass blocks just there. I really am curious to see if any items have gone down. Ow! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I need a totem. Right, we haven't got that far up. But look, these double chests are filling up as well. I can't believe it. We've mass-produced farming items. That, it just, we've just done it. It, it, we've, we won. We've, we've won. We've won this challenge. Okay, I don't know where these baby zombies have come. What the heck just happened there? What? Yeah, uh, excuse me. Hello. Okay, I've, I've done my best to fix her up. I've added this quartz design. Come on, kill them before they all blow up. There we go. Come on, heal me up. There we go. There we have it. This was 50 hours all from a single humble chest. We've done it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Look at all the progress we've made along the way. We've got the farms, the trading hall, the beacon, the house, the end. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like and sub. Thank you so much to my awesome Patreons. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. You were awesome. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.